Shannon Morrison, coach of corners. Last year I was the uh, co-defensive coordinator, secondary coach at Bowling Green State University. Um, I came to Memphis because of the opportunity. Uh, one, meeting Coach Porter. Um, very, very polished, very, he knows what he's doing. Um, two, the, the school itself, um, the university, the city, um, uh, and the location. Um, there's no reason for this place not to be winning in football. And being at another conference school, you could always see that and wonder what the, what the problem was. Um, and so I think, you know, all that in together, throwing all that in together, you have a chance here in the location, you're in the school, you have a chance to attract top quality student athletes and have a chance to, to really turn around a program and uh, be something here at the University of Memphis. Having been in the conference for four years, I've, I've seen every school in the conference. Um, yeah, there's been some turnover, but I know what kind of players that you're dealing with, what kind of schemes. Um, so I think I'll be able to help. I, th I think it doesn't hurt. It definitely doesn't hurt to, to be in conference and, and have an idea of what everybody else is doing um, before you, know, you really get a feel. There's a lot of things that have to come together. We're still we're building. It's our first year. We're still trying to put the glue together. Um, my expectations is for us to, you know, just like any time, is conference championship and, and going on from there. Um, that's my expectations. Uh, realistically, I think bowl, if we're in a bowl, that, that would be a definite positive because if we're in a bowl this year, then I know what's going to happen down the road. Um, and down the road is going to be nothing but good. So that's Expectations, I expect us to win a conference championship. Realistically, probably won't happen year one, but if it, if it doesn't and we're not in a bowl next year, I'll be disappointed. The biggest thing coming out of spring with these guys is just improving in, in, in technique, improving overall understanding of what their responsibility is within the scheme. Um, it was a new scheme. We threw a lot of stuff at them and just a better, better general understanding of what's going on. Overall, I'm pleased with that with those guys, but um, they've got to progress or that's going to be a weakness. And uh, like I said, we've got to step up and find somebody that's going to be mature enough to handle what's going on out there. And at the same time, when they do get beat, it's not going to be a mental lapse to where it's going to continue to be a problem. I'll probably be 300 pounds next year because the restaurants that uh, I've been able to run into, um, and not just, you know, me and my family are more, or me and my wife, like not necessarily fast food, or not chains. We're not big chains, so the, 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 the restaurants that the city provides that aren't chains, that are, as you would call it, mom and pop or whatever, I love those.